Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for January 25th, 2024. Well, guys, I had a little bit of a snafu this morning. Um, I was working this morning and my internet went down for a while. It just came back up, which means there will not be a blog today, but I think I've got enough time to get a video out. So I apologize. Those are the breaks. Nothing I can really do about it, but let's jump into this. First off, let's take a look at what happened overnight. Asian markets had a really good day, jumping up big time. As a matter of fact, um, Hong Kong continued to surge up 312 points. Um, up 1.96% and Shanghai actually making a nice move, pushing back up toward 3,000 at 29.06, up 3% as um, the country relaxes banking requirements, hoping to push about another trillion dollars um, because the, the banking reserves push another trillion dollars into their really struggling um, uh, real estate market. Whether or not that'll raise the confidence of the consumer there, I don't know. But um, last night they were celebrating in Asian markets up across the board. European markets, however, are looking at something different. They are a little bit bearish across the board. Yesterday they, they finished up very strongly, but they're um, waiting on an ECB rate decision. And right now, those European markets are red all across the board. Here in the U.S., we've had kind of a flip-flop, a mix of, of data here. We've got um, um, SPY and NASDAQ trying to show just marginal increases in the futures this morning, while the Dow futures are just a little bit on the negative side. But remember, we've got a big day of data ahead. We've got oil moving up pretty sharply here this morning, um, up 76.19. And Brent is at 81.11. Natural gas is moving sharply higher as well, up 23 cents. We've got um, uh, bonds this morning. 10-year bond moving just ever so slightly lower here at uh, 415. And the two-year bond is at 430. Seven. So still kind of a um, an uncertain market, I think, heading into all of this data. So what does all that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Thursday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thank you so much for being here. I do very much appreciate it. Let's take a look at these indexes and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Remember, we're going to have to do um, be a little bit careful here um, this morning because of all of the economic data. But let's try to shake off a, a little bit of bias and try to not worry about that for just a second. Let's see if these charts can tell us something about how we might want to approach the market for today. Well, first off, we had, um, as, I, as I mentioned yesterday, to watch carefully for the potential of a whipsaw. And that's kind of what we got here, at least in the diamonds. We popped up here strongly first thing in the morning and then ended up reversing back down on the day, creating a little bit of concern and worry here um, in the market going into the close because we left that Dow with a bearish engulfing candle coming really, really close to that little price support here in the chart. Now, as we continue uh, today, it's going to be really important. If this continues to the downside, then that bearish engulfing candle will mean something. So if those bears find some inspiration in the data today, where could we go? Well, first off, there's some support right across in here, so we could find some in there. But if that were to give it up, maybe just a little bit lower, and then, of course, you can see down in here. And then this would be the all-time high breakout for this year, um, this level down in here. Now, I don't expect us to fall that far, but you never know when we're so stretched here in the market and so enthusiastic. If that data is bad today, 
that could or or, or kind of if the data would suggest that the Fed is not going to be able to cut rates when everyone thinks they're going to be able to cut rates, that would kind of push us lower here in the market and could do it pretty quickly. If we take a look at our uh, oh by the way, and if the the data is bullish. A little bit of resistance right in here on the chart and then uh, blue sky above um, in the diamonds let's take a look at our spy spy continuing to stretch out here in a pretty parabolic move here the last few days but yesterday we did get that whipsaw didn't come all the way back down to quite fill the gap it came really really close to uh, filling that gap by the close but as you can see kind of a, a bearish candle up here maybe a dark cloud cover uh, type candle in the market in that whipsaw but we're trying to pump it back up here in the pre-market already so depending on how that data comes out today if the bulls find that inspiration well every reason to believe we could be back up here testing these highs because there's really nothing in here that's bearish other than that little candle and if you were to um, maybe engage the bears um, in the uh, from the data then maybe some levels right in here could potentially hold us as some price support there's not a lot of price support in there as you can see the major price support would be down here which would be a really painful pullback if we happen to come down here and test that price level um, if we take a look at our QQQ QQQ a little bit of a shooting star type top up here gapping up and you can see we're trying to pump it here again in the Nasdaq trying to push that back up I'm guessing we're probably getting some tech help in here just because of that big surge happening in um, Hong Kong but watch that carefully here if the bulls can find inspiration maybe we're pushing back up in here and we're continuing to extend this very parabolic move in the chart if the bears however f happen to find some inspiration well you could see that drop down into here maybe filling that gap and then we would start looking at levels down here just realizing we don't have much support at all in this chart with these gap and run up moves until we come back down here and test this level here in the chart and even stronger if we're testing down here which would be oof, that'd be a painful move but we just continue to chase um, big tech stocks higher and that's what's been happening it's mostly big tech um, that has made that move in the market as a matter of fact one of my members shared a uh, image i'm not exactly sure where this came from but this kind of shows us right now our um our market we've got um, well tech in the S&P 500 doing that and the rest of the market kind of doing that so um, you can see that complexity that we're dealing with and if you're feeling frustrated because you're not in those tech giants because of their expense and you don't want to chase well um, you can see why you're frustrated because not much anything else is moving um, let's take a look at our IWM IWM Oops, um, had a rough day yesterday. Uh, a bearish engulfing candle after breaking back through this area here. I was looking forward to maybe changing that to green if we pulled back and found that area of support and then bounced off of it and maintained that bullishness. Fortunately, yesterday we show a failure here of that pattern. Now, what's going to be critical is how it um, reacts today if we bounce right back up here then there's no worry but if we were to push on lower that's where some concern could be uh, coming into play remember we created this big gap here in that chart so if the bears find inspiration push down that'd be the first place i'd look to find a little bit of price support but if that were to fail then um, i'm gonna have to look lower here in the chart maybe down around this area here if the bulls however happen to find some inspiration here today and push right on through well we can kind of see where that resistance area is going to be it's going to be right in the top of those big black candles in there trying to decide whether or not we can push on through that um, um, so watch that closely here today let's take a look at our vix 
our VIX while we were uh, trying to show just uber bullishness in the tech sector um, and mostly just the tech sector, tech giants even, um, we saw fear come up here in the market just a little bit. So our VIX was actually rallying yesterday while the market was showing us um, that um, uncertainty in the Dow while the, uh, while the tech sector continued to rally. So a little bit of fear coming up into those numbers today. So if the, if the bulls find inspiration today, then I would look for that to reverse and come right back down into this area. And if the numbers are really good today for the bulls, I see that potential they could even push lower. However, if that data today supports the bears, because we are so extended, I would look for a pretty substantial move. The, the reversal in here could be harsh because we've been so uber bullish and um, pressing and pressing and pressing tech. Just remember, we could have the opposite effect. If, if um, those giant tech giants find reason to sell, and the whole market's likely going to end up being a little bit sick. So watch that carefully here. If the bulls um, or bears do find inspiration, we can see this coming up pretty quickly um, as fear um, comes into the market and, and we would see um, that sector may be selling off pretty strongly. So just keep in mind, I don't know that that's going to happen, but I do see that as a possibility. And one of the reasons I've been echoing so much caution here in the videos. If you take a look at our T2122, our T2122 shows us a very different story than what we get the impression of looking at the SPY and the QQQ. We had a substantial pullback here in our T2122 yesterday, pulling back below our 50% area here in the chart. So if the bulls do find something in the data that's very bullish for them, we've got plenty of upside opportunity if, um, if that is the case. If the bears, however, find inspiration, well, Maybe we're back down in this area here uh, by the end of the week. So kind of keep an eye on that. We've got that potential that we could whip either direction here based on the data. If we take a look at our uh, T2108, the percentage of stocks above the 40-day moving average, we also see that problem. We got that impression that looking at the SPY and the QQQ, that everything was copacetic and great, but not so much. We fell back below the 50% area here on T2108, pulling back with more stocks declining than moving higher. So watch this area right in here. We've got some price support. So if we can hold this area, if the bulls can step back in and bounce right back up off of that, we're in good shape. If, however, we see those bears find that inspiration and we start pushing this down, well, a little bit of fear, a little bit of worry might come into the market. Now, we've got other levels of price support in here, so it's not like we're just going to tank and drop to the bottom, but um, we'll want to watch that pretty closely here today. Our T2107 uh, also showing us that little bit of a problem here where we had fewer stocks holding above their 200 day moving average as uh, we continue to see the QQQ all by itself dominate the indexes and continue to hold us very, very strong. So once again, I worry just a little bit what happens if big tech starts to sell. Um, it could be a, a pretty rough day for the market. I'm not saying that's going to happen. I'm just saying just be prepared in case that does happen. So pulling back in here, you'll notice we've got some price support in this area of the chart. So I don't see this as at all critical. Coming back into that 50% area, not critical at all. But if we bounce right back up off of here, if the bulls find that inspiration, we'll look for these resistance levels above. Um, we'll see if we can push on through that area. And then interestingly enough, we saw a little bit of a breadth increase here yesterday. And I'm going to have to probably give that to the bearish side just be, because we saw T2108 declining, T2107 declining, uh, pulling back. So I think that um, little breadth increase here had a little bit more to do with the bears than it did with the bulls. I could be wrong on that, but watch that carefully here today. This is going to be really, I think, interesting to pay attention to on those data points. Is this going to inspire? 
inspire those bulls to find that momentum boost that we need to um, um, uh, bring uh, bring a lot of energy and upside energy to the market? Or will it inspire those bears to to push on up here in breadth of the market um, and 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 maybe um, disappoint a lot of those uh, bulls that have been chasing and chasing and chasing in the big tech sector? Let's take a look at our um, economic calendar here for today. Our economic calendar, well, we've got a few things to be thinking about here today. Boy, um, it all hitting all at once. First thing this morning, we're going to be getting durable goods orders and the durable goods numbers. Um, if you uh, take a look at the expectations here, durable goods numbers are expected to be significantly less than they were last time, coming at a 0.1 versus 5.4. I don't know how the market will respond to that. Um, could <laughs> It'd be tough to see that as bullish, but um, it could be that indication that the market is slowing enough that the Fed will cut rates and that'll keep the market happy. So you never know how they might respond to a number like that. Uh, GDP is expected to decline pretty sharply. And as a matter of fact, uh, Bank of America has put out a report. They are expecting GDP to fall as much as one and a half to one and a half percent. So that's a big decline over last time, which would be our first quarter of uh, GDP decline. Remember, two quarters in a row is the definition of recession. So that would be our first potential quarter of GDP decline. And then, of course, we've got um, personal uh, consumption also expected to decline here this morning. We have international trading good that's expected to come in a little bit better than we have in the past. The prior was a negative 90.3. We're looking at a negative 88.5. But we don't seem to care about the fact that our trade deficit numbers, our trade numbers are so backwards, the market doesn't seem to worry about that at all. And then we've got jobless claims here. We've got jobless claims. They're expecting that to be around 200,000. Remember, this missed big time last time. If this number continues to come in hot, that could be a problem for us here in the market and encourage the Fed to keep the rates higher longer. We'll want to watch that one carefully. Someday along the way, we've been seeing all these layoff numbers in um, the headlines. Someday we're likely to see this start to spike up. How the market reacts to that is anybody's guess, but watch that carefully. And then after that, we've got Chicago Fed national activity. We've got some retail and wholesale inventory data. We're going to get uh, new home sales here. New home sales are expected to um, get stronger here, coming in at 650,000, up from 590. We've got a natural gas report, and then we're going to get into a Kansas City Fed report, which we'll ignore, and um, bond auctions here on the day, and the Fed balance sheet, which we will likely ignore. Um, and then we'll be getting ready for this number tomorrow. Remember, core PCE number is the Fed's favorite number. We'll talk about that, that tomorrow. But remember, we'll be waiting for that. And that could have ramifications on how the Fed reacts on rates. So watch that carefully tomorrow. Let's take a look at our earnings calendar. Now, our earnings calendar, guys, um, since I didn't get a chance to um, do the blog this morning, I don't actually um, have a, a place where you can go back and and grab um, um, some of those data points here. So um, unfortunately, what I'm going to do is I, I, I've got a little starter sheet that I started here um, on the blog, but I do have the um, notable reports here this morning. So kind of keep in mind, um, take a screenshot of this. That would be your notable reports here for this morning uh, for the day. So we've got Intel as probably one of our uh, bigger notables here um, later on um, after the bell today. But you can see we've got quite a few things in here. We've got several airlines reporting. Uh, we're going to hear from some utilities in here. We've got some oil numbers coming in here. We've got uh, T-Mobile reporting. Valero Energy will be in there. We've got um, uh, Western Digital uh, coming up here. Warehouser, Visa, 
um, all reporting today. So we're ramping up those numbers and just expect a little bit more volatility, particularly when we talk about the um, wild um, uh, price action that we could see with the data this morning as we uh, inject all of those earnings reports as well. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you could do me that quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and click that bell icon when it pops up and then if you feel the video was worth it if it's worthy do me that favor and click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow thank you so much to everyone who does take the time to do that you know a lot of people watch the video and don't leave any comments, but even if you can leave an emoji, that helps a lot. It helps to show the engagement with the video. And it's just kind of like, um, it would be, to me, it's just kind of like saying thanks for the effort of putting the video out. If, um, and I appreciate everyone who does take the time to do that because I know it gets monotonous day after day um, in making those comments, but Thank you to everyone who does. And then um, if you feel um, feel like sharing this out on your uh, social feed, that would be a great help as well. So thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. Let's take a look at some of these charts. And remember, these aren't recommendations to buy or sell any security. You're going to have to do your due diligence. Be very, very careful in the market. And be prepared for some wild price action today could be all over the place this morning. So hopefully you heeded that warning in planning your risk carefully heading into today. Um, let's take a look at some of these. Um, CTLT, CT, whoops. CTLT, nice little pattern here. Notice that little resting pattern in here. We might be trying to tighten it up here just a little bit right now, heading into this trend. I'd keep an eye on this. As you can see, I've placed a price alert on that chart, looking to see if that can push on through to the upside. Um, kind of interesting um, in that chart, something to pay attention to. Um, take a look at SHOP. Now, SHOP tried to make that pop out of here yesterday. I, I have been talking about this potential in in the chart but doggone it um, that a little bit of bearishness came in yesterday we popped and dropped we may still rest in here and kind of complete this trend before we move on out on Shopify but I do think that is definitely worth uh, paying attention to you know DocuSign is another one a nice little tight consolidation this little head and shoulders type pattern or you could view that as a little cup and handle type pattern in the chart taking a look at that that opportunity you may be breaking through this resistance and coming up uh, back up in here into these highs looks like a possibility with this nice little resting pattern in uh, DOCU. Now let's take a look at some of uranium. Now uranium's been moving up uh, pretty nicely here for a long, long time. A little volatility here in uh, CCJ. We have a nice little bullish pattern here trying to push on up but yesterday. That selling in the market pushed us lower. Probably just that uncertainty coming into today. So the question is, will the bulls find some inspiration here or not i can't tell you but let's keep an eye on this nothing wrong with this chart as a matter of fact there was a story out saying that uranium supplies are really dwindling here and um, we know there's a lot of countries starting to move toward that nuclear energy here uh, with uranium so supplies are dwindling pretty sharply here watch that carefully we could see those prices continue to go up as a matter of fact the story suggested we could hit some all-time highs here in uranium prices um, in the next couple of years so watch watch those um, UEC if you guys remember I'm in UEC still like this chart a little Little bit better but yeah a little dark cloud cover pushing in here um, that pullback and that's one of the problems that we've been seeing in this market recently is that you know if you're not in one of the tech giants we get a lot of back and forth a lot of whipping around in here a lot of uncertainty in a lot of these areas of the market now these will be really really important um, particularly if the dollar um, uh, weakens if the dollar were to continue to weaken meaning the 
bond yields spread out today based on the data moving up. Um, if the dollar weakens, that could help anything in the commodity sector here of the market. Take a look at um, some of the refiners yesterday. Refining really pushing to the upside. We saw those numbers yesterday where our uh, supplies, um, oil, oil supplies declined pretty sharply. Um, so um, refiners um, could be of interest in here pushing up strongly yesterday um, I wouldn't want to chase this but a little rest a little consolidation in there and I would look for that next opportunity to the upside you could also take a look at um, like Schlumberger had a pretty good day continuing to stretch up here again don't chase it wait for the higher low to come in there for that trend to develop and then look for that next opportunity in Schlumberger VLO could either help or hinder both of those today. It looks like VLO is getting a pop this morning. This is an earnings report in here. So VLO stretching up, if that report uh, proves to be strong, that could also provide a little help and support to some of those other refiners in the market. Take a look at Walmart. Now Walmart, doggone it. Walmart's been holding in here looking beautiful and I've been talking about this and boy, yesterday it just, just came in on that pop-up big bearish engulfing candle here pushing back down to this price support the question is are we going to follow through to the downside here on walmart um, i don't know for or if we're going to do that or whips on and reverse right back up watch that one closely if you're in that trade make sure your stops are set and i would just say that about everything today um, make sure that your stops are set properly in fact it might be wise to tighten them up because we could see some pretty substantial volatility this morning around this data and i say could i don't know that to be sure but make sure you have a plan to protect yourself here in the market we're seeing um uh, whoops, we're seeing a little bit of gold uh, pushing up here this morning, even though we are also seeing uh, TLT um, uh, trying to push up just a little bit here today. So uh, with that 10 year bond slipping just a little tiny bit, um, we're seeing TLT trying to push up here. Now keep in mind on TLT, um, I do have a bias in here. I've been holding a position in this trade. I'm just riding out this pullback with some covered calls. What I'm looking for is that opportunity that we might find a little bit of support here in that chart and see those bonds um, continue to weaken and pushing to the upside. And that's going to require some good data today. And I certainly can't say that's going to be the case. So watch that carefully. Could see a lot of volatility in this as well today. Um, take a look at Tesla. Tesla disappointing yesterday continuing in this bearish pattern that I've been talking about here uh, breaking down through support and now really breaking down through support now what we've seen here lately is any big gap down on earnings gets immediately bought up let's see if Tesla is one of those and if it does buy back up into any of these resistance areas in the chart look for that next opportunity for that potential short looking pretty Pretty scary here on uh, the that side of Tesla for the moment. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Thanks for all the help and support with the channel. You guys are awesome. I'll see you right back here bright and early Friday morning. Have a great day.